the 2018 Honda Fit it has no time for hybrid, or hot hatch, or any hashtags that shade other economy cars. It's happy to simply be a great car for people who don't want to spend a lot on new wheels. With the Fit, Honda has assembled great space and gas mileage and sprinkled it with reasonably entertaining handling. This year, the Fit also has a slew of safety tech that overcomes one of its few weak spots. Honda sells a Fit LX, a Fit Sport, a Fit X, and a Fit XL. There's something here for anyone who might spend under $20,000, but the Fit LX is an exceptional bargain. The Fit's a tall hatchback, nearly as tall as the HRV crossover Honda spins from some of the same hardware. Yet the Fit has a minivan-like shape that makes the most of its footprint. A crease here, a fold there, the Fit shape does nothing foul or exceedingly fair. The cabin seems a bit busy, but functions well enough. Our biggest complaint is the durable stuff Honda uses to cover the dash and doors. Power for the Fit comes in the form of a 130 horsepower four-cylinder, which will hit 60 miles per hour in about 10 seconds if you're firm on the throttle. The Fit's suspension absorbs bumps better than before, and steering gets retuned this year. The current Fit doesn't quite have the handling magic of the first-generation car, but it's a pleasant way to weave through traffic. Seating and flexibility are the Fit's claim to fame. The seats are unspectacular, but they're surrounded by vast interior space, with excellent headroom. Honda's flip-folding second-row seats can recline, can fold up to open up a tall cargo space behind the front seats, and can fold down so the Fit can carry ladders and surfboards and the like.